you rather have Trump as a dictator uh, or Biden as a president? I'd rather have Trump as a dictator than Biden any day. It's kind of obvious who knows what they're doing. There, there is no dictatorship with Trump. He cares. He's for America. I mean, he did say he would be one for a day, right? For a day, but I, I still don't see it. There's a lot of foreign aid being requested by Ukraine and by Israel. Do you support that foreign aid? Do I, okay, ask the question one more time. Yeah, do you support the foreign aid, giving foreign aid to Ukraine and Israel at a fraught time in international policy right now? I would have to say, I think we need, what we need to do is focus on our country first. Before we go and spending money on other people and helping them, even though other countries do need our help, if we can't help our own country first, then we shouldn't be helping other countries. The, the, for Ukraine, it, a lot of people are saying it helps us because it, it, it defends democracy. It does. Um, I completely understand. Um, but I honestly think that the government, you know, got us into this mess. So. The government got us into the mess? Yes. Um, so you don't think it had to do with Putin? It's more the U.S. government? It really depends on who's running the show. And I think it's because of who's running the show is kind of what, why we are what we're at right now. Because Trump would not have allowed this to happen. And we wouldn't be in this mess right now if he was the one running it. How would you imagine that Trump as president would have stopped Putin from going into Ukraine? Absolutely, because Trump doesn't put up with anything. And he would have... You know, he would have he would have threatened them, and this wouldn't have happened. He would not put up with anything. He would let them know face-to-face -face what he thinks, and he would let them know, like, hey, basically, if you do this to us, we're going to do this back to you. Don't even try. But it was being done to Ukraine, not to us. Right. We need him back because if not, he's saving us. It's us against the government, and that's what he means. He's going to fight for us. Um, so but if he's president, he's the government, right? Mm, not really, because he's not a politician. What's one thing that he did when he was president last time that made your life better? A lot of things. He, I think in a sense, because he kind of made everybody wake up to what's going on. And that's what made my life better. Because before him, I didn't realize everything that was going on. Can you tell me a little, like, specifically what some of those things are that are going on? All the things that the government has been doing, for example, they obviously get people in who they want in no matter what, regardless if the voting is real or fake. Do you think that the 2020 election was stolen? Absolutely. Yes, without a doubt. Um, Trump definitely has more followers and he does more work with the rallies. It's kind of obvious. Um, Trump's rallies are really long and they wrap around like blocks and blocks and Biden doesn't have anyone showing up to his. So 100%. In fairness, he wasn't really having rallies uh, back then. That, that's true, yeah. yeah. The courts, in I think it was over 60 cases, said that there was no fraud in the last election. What is it that has you insistent upon that still today? That there was fraud in the election? Um, it's obvious that there is fraud in the election. It's just little things like on the news that you can see um, that kind of shows what's going on in the world and the just the, the negativity that they have out there um, and how much they're trying to get everyone to hate Trump kind of shows it so but so that means so that means it was a stolen election because of that it's it's just kind of obvious I mean you can see um, how Trump has more followers and they're if that me sorry, hold on. I'm trying to, my mind's going blank for a minute. Can, hold on one second. I don't know. They all say the same thing of Trump would not have allowed this to happen. It's hilarious to me. Like, Okay, so Trump would not have allowed this to happen. Okay, so like, what do you think he would have done? Uh, you know, started a war, sent in troops, uh, started a proxy war, said da 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 da. Because it, 
that logic doesn't because they're like, oh, well, the dictators of this world would not have let Trump, you know, they wouldn't have done this under Trump. Putin wouldn't have invaded under Trump. Uh, why? Because Trump would have invaded. Oh, no, he wouldn't have invaded. You know, because, you know, no new wars under Trump. And why were there no new wars? Because there were you know, the logic of like, oh, as if people like no one's scared of Biden because Biden's just going to send in troops and, you know, uh, finance armies and proxy war and send billions to Ukraine and blah, blah, blah. It, that logic does not make sense. Like, what would he have done? With Putin, where Putin's like, oh my God, I'm going to stand down because Trump's going to start a war. Like, at the same time, they're against the war that Trump also would have, dude, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to put this logic together. I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Even, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to explain this logic and I'm failing at it. She even says it herself. He would have threatened them. Like, threatened them with what? War? The war you don't want us to get into because, I mean, like, this, unless they're just saying, like, unless they're totally okay with Trump just being like, nuke and nuke, right? Unless, like, that's, they're, like, totally fine with this because it's going on in a country not theirs. And they're like, oh, you can do you. It's the funniest thing is I've asked MAGA this, you know, it's thing of like, how has Trump made your life better, right? Economically, stuff like that. I mean, of course, economically. And they all it just, they all say this sort of general thing of like, he woke us up. He woke us up. And, and it even, even never, they have never, and they've said this passionately. They have never, you know, pointed to like specific, well, like, you know, policy was, you know, that no, no uh, not at all. Uh, and it's the funniest thing of like, I, I actually do believe that he did wake us up. I feel like you need, you have shenanigans going on in politics and in power. And since you need a narcissist to come through who just wants all the attention, who's going to be a total fascist Instead of being like a, you know, behind boardroom doors fascist, right? Like some of the neoliberals, like the, you know, like W. Bush and Cheney. And you're going to need a narcissist who's going to be an open fascist who wants credit for every single thing they do. Meanwhile, the other conservatives are like, no, 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 no bro. Like, like, let's not draw attention to this. Like, you did it. Like, right. You know, same thing with Elon Musk. Right? You need like a, a narcissist to basically put on display how much influence they wield and how they are wielding the influence like publicly and you know in display of everyone all the time. So he did wake us up, you know, especially when you try to prosecute him and you're seeing how you know just garbage the criminal justice system is at prosecuting you know someone for like obvious crimes. So um, you, you are, you sort of got there. You are sort of right. This is exactly what they've been saying literally right after the election. Like not even like before January 6th inaugurate, like anything they've said it then they're saying it now. And their main proof positive is that Biden didn't hold rallies. Biden didn't have anyone like psyched about him. Like how's, how come he's getting so much votes? And it's this weird bubble that they're in where they're at rallies and they're seeing people just on fire and they're going, how could anyone else win when I'm at a thing and there's 200 people here and we're all on fire and, you know, we go to places and people are on fire for this cult leader. Right. And then you know, yeah, Biden, well, Biden didn't have rallies. Biden also, you know, the Democratic Party just does not is like garbage at campaigning. So, I mean, there's that. It's because they, they talk about like some, you know, attempts at, you know, a rally or whatever with everyone's social distancing and, you know, these like memes that they create from it, you know, 
So that that's their that's their only proof positive that the election was stolen because Trump was just way too popular. How could he have ever lost? I mean, I I you know I like him, and not everyone I know likes him. I mean, oh, well, I don't know anyone that didn't like him. <laughs> What about the rash of anti-Semitism that's been happening in America now? Uh, is that bothersome to you? Um, so, okay, one second. So for before I answer that, anti-Semitism... It, what is okay? So can I not? I don't want to answer any more questions. Okay, sure. But. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. The last question. I mean, anti-Semitism is a is a real thing. I'm not going to deny that. Her re her. I I gotta give her credit though. She straight up like she like she thought about each thing and was like, huh. Well, I she was. She was a second away from just admitting she doesn't know what anti-Semitism means. She would, you could watch, watch that video again, watch her just be asked the question and just go like, what, what is that? Huh? <laughs> Which is a great answer. <laughs> what about the rise of anti-Semitism? What's that? Like, you know what? Okay. Like at least. We know what we're working with here, right? At least we know, right? Like when we, when we can just sort of define, you know, where everyone is, then we're like, like, oh, okay, got it, got it. You don't know what anti-Semitism is, like, which is, I don't, that's a hard term to not be aware of. I don't, I mean, <laughs> maybe since I grew up in New York. <laughs> like, I don't, is, is it just, is it just ge geographic for me? Like, where do you live that you don't know the meaning of the, I, to be perfectly honest, I would love to live in a world where like, that's not even a, a conversation like anti-Semitism that could, that's impossible. Right. <laughs> and it's impossible for the right reasons. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really am just this woman. She was like, basically, she, I mean, she basically cuts the interview off with just, you know what? I'm good. Thanks. Like, you know, saying, I don't know. I think a lot of, a lot more magas should use the word, uh, words, I don't know uh, in response to questions. <laughs> I mean, hats off to her.